Hi friends, I hope you're having a great day so far. Today's video is going to be a little bit of cleaning and a little bit rearranging and redecorating my family room. I'm not sure if any of you can relate, but I sometimes get tired of my decor or I get tired of my furniture. And one way I resolve this feeling without spending tons of money on new furniture and decor is to simply rearrange my furniture, change the layout, and swap out decor I have with other decor in the house that I already have on hand. Um, it just gives the room a new look and just makes it feel like a brand new space. If you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, then you're probably familiar with the current layout of my family room. But for anyone who's new, let's take a look at what it looks like right now and I will discuss how I plan to change it. So here's the current layout of my family room, which there's nothing wrong with this layout other than the mess that you see. Please ignore the mess. I'll be getting to that shortly. But um, I've had it set up like this for quite a while now and I'm just growing tired of it and I'm really ready for a change. So what I'm thinking is that I will divide the sectional into two sofas um, and I'll have them facing each other. So I'll just put one sofa on this side of the fireplace and then the other sofa on the opposite side again facing each other um, and then as far as those two chairs I will put those in front of the fireplace so that's the plan we'll see how it goes if if I don't like it I may end up just keeping it <laughs> like this but um, but first things first I'm gonna take all of the decor out of here so that I have a blank slate to work with Now that I've cleared out all of the decor, I'm going to begin moving the furniture and I will start by moving these two chairs in front of the fireplace uh, before I move the sectional. And these chairs were a lot heavier than I anticipated so I'm moving them in what I like to call the crab walk. I don't know, it's, it worked well to move these chairs where I wanted them but yeah they were a lot heavier than I thought. To move the sectional, I'm going to use these furniture sliders. Now these can be purchased at any home goods store such as Home Depot or Bed Bath & Beyond, but these are a lifesaver when it comes to moving really heavy furniture. Um, it's just simply a padded disc that you slip underneath each leg of the item you're moving 
and literally literally the item will glide across the floor it makes it so easy to move furniture And before I put any furniture in place, I always make sure that I vacuum the carpet really good. Um, here I'm vacuuming the rug before I roll it up, but um, you'll see me vacuuming throughout the video prior to placing or prior to putting the furniture in place. When I rolled up the rug, I was surprised to see there were a couple stains on the carpet. I like to use this Spot Shot stain remover. It's non-toxic, so it's safe for children and pets, but it works really well to lift those stains. Now that I have the couches in place, I realized that I forgot to put the rug down first. So that is what I'm doing here. I really like using a large area rug in the family room. It just ties all of the furniture pieces together and adds another element of decor to the space. furniture is finally in place and now I'm just going to dust everything and start adding the decor. I know it wastes time, but baby you'll be fine. You'll be
I decided to move the topiaries that I had in my kitchen over to my fireplace mantle. And I have to say, I'm really happy with how they look on my mantle. And since Valentine's Day is coming up, I pulled out my rose-colored pillows to add a little splash of color to these chairs. I absolutely love decorating with this faux fur fro. I wasn't sure if I wanted to use it on this side or on the other couch, but I love how using faux fur just adds that touch of warmth to the space. When you're all that I want, can't you see? I bought this plant during summer for my patio and I brought it in for the winter weather. I have to say I'm really impressed with how hardy and strong this plant is because I am terrible at keeping plants alive, but this plant is thriving. It's called a yucca plant, which I had never heard of before, but if you're looking for a really hardy plant, I recommend this one. And here is the finished space. I'm really happy with how it turned out, at least for now. A month from now, I may be switching it back, you never know, but I really love how it makes the space feel a little more open, and it's just really fun to switch things up every now and then. But thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and have a wonderful rest of the day. I will see you guys in my next video. Take care.